here at uh, Zentai Farm. Uh, we want to make uh, silage out of uh, sorghum, one of the forages established at the site. It is always uh, important for a smallholder farmer to actually identify uh, which is the right stage when it comes to harvesting. And there are a few things that the farmer can actually look at when it comes to identifying whether your fodder is ready uh, for cutting, uh, if you're doing either a fresh cut or you want to do silages. And one of the key things that uh, a farmer should bear in mind is the dry matter content. It is always advisable to do your harvest when the dry matter is actually above or between 30 to 35 percent and uh, you can always uh, just do a small test while the forages are still fresh in the field, cut them, uh, test the dry matter and that will really really give you a more guided information on whether your forage is ready uh, to harvest and uh, or not. And after you do that it's always good to consider the cut height when it comes to different forages. The proper cutting height should be five centimeters, five to six centimeters from the ground. That would really help to, uh, for the regrowth of the next crop. We're expecting to have uh, at least three uh, ratoons from this crop. And you can see uh, from the, the height of the harvest, this should be the right height, roughly about uh, five to six centimeters. Before making silage, you have to wilt a little bit depending on the climate you can wilt it maybe for a day or uh, a day is, is enough uh, if you can cut it in the evening better because you're going to have more sugars uh, in the fodder or in the feed and then um, after that you after wilting then you can go and uh, start making silage which uh, i'll take you through the process Currently, the work going on here is uh, silage making and uh, it's very important to consider the chopping size. We are using a, a farmer chaff cutter and it's really giving us some good chopping size of around uh, uh, a centimeter or less. Uh, this is really important uh, since when we are making the silage, we need to compact, to do the compaction properly remove uh, the air in as much as possible so with this chopping size it's very easy to do the compaction if a uh, chopping size is done bigger than this you'll find one gets it difficult to do compaction or you're going to have poor compaction at the end of the day and that means leaving in more hair and eventually having poor quality silage uh, another reason for good or to, to have good or the recommended chopping size. During feeding, it's very easy to do mixing with the other feeds. So mixing is well done with the other feeds and also a cow won't be able to select these feeds or the other feeds separate or eat it separately, uh, which makes it so good eventually for the production of milk in the cow. After uh, we've done silage when we are just about to feed the cows. We also get a sample and do the analysis. We are doing to be able to determine the content of the energy and the protein content to be able to help us in a formulation of the TMR, the, the mixing ration, of maybe to help a farmer know maybe how many kilograms of uh, this sorghum is going to use. For example, this sorghum we expect it to really come in in terms of energy and also the protein for the for the farmer or for the cow and also help the farmer achieve uh, his targets uh, on the production side. Mm -hmm.